Well, anyone with kids knows it's not always easy to understand what they're talking about. One teacher noticed the same thing, so he put together his own dictionary to help out the tragically unhip. Sean Chayabayat reports. I want the students to trust me. I want them to engage with me. A lot's changed since James Callahan started teaching, especially slang. The kids use snack as somebody who is attractive. At Lowell High, he's one of the cool teachers, 15 years on the job and still trying to connect with kids on their level. The students always had slang terms and I always tried to figure out what they were. So this year he created this list, 63 fresh new words like slaps and slay, smacks and snack. A lot of people are saying it's pretty snatched. <laughs> um, snatch, I think it's more slaps probably. Callahan teaches sociology, so it's fitting he sees it like a big experiment. I have to keep it going, right, because I want to be able to understand uh, the language my students are using. A lot of these words were, uh, you know, low-key before, and so <laughs> now, you know, are you worried that you're going to put all these words on blast and their kids aren't going to like you? <laughs> um, I know exactly what you mean. Well, but you realize that by using these words, we're, we're killing the words. Some have tried to buy his Gen Z dictionary. A lot of parents are probably going to want this. You're going to put out volume two. You're going to make some bread with this? <laughs> well, I think the kids say, uh, get that bread. But no plans to cash in. In fact, he posted it free on Twitter. But as soon as these words get out, they're out. I try to use them, but it just doesn't mean the same. It really Coming doesn't when you me. start getting gray hair, right? Yeah, I'm like a middle-aged white guy. I mean. I like that teacher.